guys, welcome to Gen Z Coders. This is the first tutorial for Python. I don't know how many of you have watched my Scratch videos, but if you haven't, I would definitely recommend to watch them first because Scratch is an easier language to learn and it'll also help you in understanding the fundamentals of programming. All right, so in this video, we're just gonna learn some basic expressions and simple math operators in Python. So let's get to it. This is my idle po portal. This is what should come up as soon as you open the application. So Python is actually one of my favorite languages because you can do a lot of interesting things with it. But first we have to learn the basics of how the software works and then we can actually start coding, right? So first things first, let me show you how to work this thing. So you see these um, arrow characters over here? Well, this is where you type something. So it's essentially your input. So we can like put in some code or some function over here and you can see the output as soon as you click enter. So let's try it out with something like super simple. So let's write down two plus two. So I'm just gonna put that down two plus two and then I'm just gonna click enter. So look, it gave, it gave us an um, answer right away. And this actually works with a lot of math mathematical calculations. Python, this idle is actually almost like a simple calculator. So let's talk about some terminology regarding this. So this entire thing, so you see this two plus two part, that is called an expression. So it's the most basic kind of programming instruction in the language. So expressions consist of values like two, so like that, and operators like the plus sign over here. So um, that means that, uh, and when you click enter, the expression will always evaluate, that is, reduce to a single value. That means that whenever you use a single value in Python, you can also replace it with an expression. So for example, you can get 4. Um, to get 4, you can either just say 4, or you can say 2 plus 2, or even other expressions like 2 multiplied by 2. So right now you probably must be thinking that why should we write a long expression when we can simply write a single value? Well, the answer to this is algebra. See, when you don't have uh, when you don't have a known value, so if you have like an unknown value, you need an expression to describe it because you don't have a single value. It might seem complicated at first, I know, but don't worry, you'll understand this more as you keep watching. All right, so moving on, let's talk about different math operators and how to get them on Python. So since not all keyboards have all math operators, like mine at the moment, like I don't have a division sign and I don't really have a multiplication sign as sort um, on my keyboard and I'm using a Mac, Mac right here, right? So for this, to solve this problem, Python has its own form of writing them. And this is actually one of the reasons behind why we call it language, right? You can write a lot of things in, a diff in different ways. So let's learn a few of these operators. So the first is addition. So as we've seen over here, it basically just stays the same. It's simply the plus sign because this is common among all keyboards. Now the second one that we have is subtraction. So again, for this, because we have a dash, we can just do that. So let's try like 6 minus 4 and we get 2. That's right. Okay, so again, this is just a dash. So third, we have multiplication. So for this, Python has uh, Python uses the asterisk sign. So I'm not sure about if this is the same on all um, computers, but on mine, which is the Mac, it's shift and then eight. So, and that's how you get the asterisk sign. So let's just try it out. We can just like try something simple. So like two asterisk two or two multiplied by two, and that gives you four. So it works, right? Checks out. So next we have division. So this is basically a slash or a sloping line as some call it. So fifth, um, we have integer division. So let me explain to you what this is and I'll, I'll show you both division and integer division. Right, so you might know that some numbers are not divisible by others. So for example, five is not divisible by two. So when you use the integer division method, it divides a number by another and rounds off the result to give you an integer. So a whole number essentially. So if five is not divisible by two, then essentially it would 
um, divide 5 by 2 and then round it off to give you the answer. So first let me show you basic division. So let's do 4 divided by 2 because that we know those are integers, right? And that uh, and 4 is divisible by 2. So let's do that and we get 2.0. Right, so that's good. Now let's try out the integer division. So for this, um, basically we are going to use the so we're going to use two slanting lines. Let's do 5 divided by, well, integer divided by 2. So as you can see, it gives you 2. Because when you divide 5 by 2, let's do that as well, you get 2.5. So that's basically kind of almost the exact answer of 5 divided by 2. But what Python does is it'll floor or basically it'll round off the answer to give you 2. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So the next one is, the next operator that we're going to use is to find the remainder of a division. So let's take, like, let's say 5 and 2 again. Now the remainder in this case would be 1. So we would say um, that the expression, so let's say, like, 5% five, uh, 5 2. So that's actually the symbol for um, the remainder. So for finding the remainder, that's the one that we use. So yeah. So basically, 5 divided by 2, you get a remainder of 1. So again, hopefully that just checks out, that makes sense to you. Um, okay, so now the last math operator that we're going to learn today is the exponent. So the ones that I've just like shown you today, so um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, integer division, um, the, um, um, uh, the remainder, and the exponent. These are all the most popular ones, the most common ones that you're probably going to need during, um, well, while programming or coding something, right? On Python, at least. Okay, so the last one that I said is exponent. So for this, we use the asterisk symbol uh, twice, right? Because, I mean, multiplication, exponent, e uh, exponents, pretty similar. So we're just going to use the same sign, but twice. So let's try, again, very simple one. So let's try 2 to the power of... 2. So that would be like 2 squared. So you get 4. Checks out again, right? So this is usually, this is actually pretty accurate and it's actually, as I already said, it's like a, it's like a calculator, so it's pretty good. Okay, um, I just want to mention, if you click on the link in the description, you'll see that there's a presentation. So actually in the presentation, I've put an image of all the mentioned operators and like along with what they do. So that just like gives you a table and like it makes it a bit easier to understand as well and to remember. Okay, next what we're gonna learn, I know this is a lot of math, but I mean Python and other programming languages like computer science requires math and logic. Okay, so the order of operations, which is also called precedence of Python um, math operators is similar to that of mathematics. So the exponents operator is evaluated first. Then comes the multiplication, division, integer division, and remainder operators. And then after all of these, you have the plus and minus ones, which are evaluated last. So you can use parentheses to override the usual precedence if you need to. So let's take a look. So first, let's try the order of operations. So let's just try like 2 plus 4 into 2, right? So if we look at that, um, let's try to evaluate it ourselves first. So um, considering now that we know that multiplication comes first, that means that this part, 4 into 2, should be multiplied first. That would give us 8. Then we do 8 plus 2, which would give us 10. Let's see if that checks out. Exactly. Now, um, let's try this instead. Let's do brackets, so parentheses, 2 plus 4 into 2. So let's check this out now. So first we evaluate whatever's in the parentheses. That is 2 plus 4, which would give us 6. Now we do 6 into 2, which would give us um, which would give us 12. <laughs> Blanked out for a second there. Anyways, so we just click enter 12, right? Um, I hope that I hope that you got that because that's pretty important. Okay, so in any case, you as a programmer would have to enter the expression 
while Python would do the hard part of evaluating it down to a single value. So let's like, so I can like put like a really, really large number. I'll just show you just for the fun of it. So let's say like, okay, not y, like a really large number. And then let's like multiply that by like another super large number. Now I can do this by myself, right? But Python, it will give it to you in like, like less than a second. And that's pretty quick. And it's awesome how Python does it, actually. I love it. Um, anyways, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to think about the grammar a bit, right? So let's say, um, okay, so if I say I am doing well, you'd understand me, right? But if I say, and will I do, you won't get it. So the same thing happens with Python. So if you enter something the computer cannot understand because it has bad grammar, so to say, it will display a syntax error. So um, I don't really think I can explain to you um, the bad grammar part of it right now. Um, maybe in the um, uh, next videos because, I mean, like that's when syntaxing will become a bit more important. So maybe then. But for now, let me try to explain to you the rest of this. So there's just one last thing I want to do in this video. I want you to do something. So type in like made up word like I'm doing right now, okay? So just type in like absolute gibberish, something that just doesn't make sense. So let's do like, cool. Okay, now I'm gonna just click enter. So you see what happens? That is an error. So that's not a syntax error, that's a different error. That, um, what this means is that, um, the program doesn't under so Python doesn't understand what you're telling it, and this is completely normal. Don't worry, errors are actually normal, and they're okay. Programs sometimes crash if they contain code that the computer cannot understand, which will cause Python to send an error message. So an error message won't break your computer, so really don't worry about it. All it means is that there's an error in your code, which you can solve easily by debugging the program. So if you want to know more about an error message, you can search for the exact message online to find out more about the specific error. So you can just like copy paste this onto um, Google and you can just search it up. Okay, so that's about it for this video. I know we really didn't cover much um, today, but I didn't really want to make this video too long since it's more like um, an introduction. But in the next video, we will learn about variables which will help us in creating the program later on. Thank you for watching. Bye!